So they'll be calling you a radical. So meanwhile, why the coronavirus is ravishing people and now apparently they're de nouveau, it's mutated, attacking children in New York City. Scary stuff, a mutation from the sea. The ecology, dead tide pools, you didn't think it'd come for the consumption junkies, what's your function? Everybody disconnected from the ecology. Tide pools collapse, salmon collapse, wells collapse. Look at, you see any mosquitoes, any insects out here? I live what used to be the Great Solid. This is all acute post Fukushima. You didn't think it'd come for you? You know, you're not part of the ecology? I guess not. So, salmon update. I talked to the whistleblowers I have, but that's all they do. Full-time fishermen, you know, are on the Willamette, on the mouth of Columbia. They got four days, three down. One of them, I mean, this guy, that's all he does his life. He's got the big downriggers. He's got the big boats. He's an expert. This guy's the best of the best. Three days, not one bite, not one fish. I says, how many fish does he caught? None. What? Hundreds of boats. The other fisherman, he caught one, 14 pounds. He said in his three days, right, he saw four caught. Now, he said out of 104 boats on the Willamette. In the mouth of Columbia, nothing. So we're sitting under 30,000 for the year, and it's the 11th. It's the 10th as we're shooting this. So they should be getting that a day. The 10-year mean is knocked down because the last four years have been so bad. This number is so horrific. No gill netting, you know, because Endangered Species Act finally kicked in. Greenpeace, Sierra Club, Friends of the Earth finally filed suit. No, oh, hell no. Let's go send them a check. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. The greenwashing, the hypocrites, the well petters, and then the American right winger, Jesus coming back. You know, it's a freak show. You didn't think it'd come from you. <laughs> oh, you're part of the ecology, stupid. It's the ecology, stupid. Yeah, we're going shopping. Everything's back. It's Mother's Day. Let's go shopping. Yay. I'm telling you. 75 years from Hiroshima. Flew out right over here. Right there. The hangar. Right here in Utah. Jamestown's 500 years. The last one in the sea. The last turtle. The last dragonfly. It's all plastic. The last seagull lily. Well watching in the desert of Utah. Fukushima, three full blown out delts, pushing into the Pacific Ocean. We're so afraid of a nuclear meltdown that we find Albert Einstein. We're sooner or later we're gonna get a meltdown. And it's gonna release an energy you're gonna have no clue what it is. And that energy, it's going to take fifty generations to catch up. So how many years is fifty dead? generations? <laughs> well, even if you know, he was talking lifespan's probably a 50 years, 30 years, I mean, do the math, 1,500 years. So, Steinbeck and Doc Ricketts Blanche, Doc Ricketts, when they went to the Sea of Cortez, remember he wrote that passage about looking down at the tide pools at the sea star and the stars and how we're all tied together and how people were disconnected. He turned the term to college. He never had a college degree in marine biology, did he? Boy, they talk him up now. You know, although I want to be in California doing the work. They won't let me. I'm trapped here in the desert of Utah, in the old, well, well watching in the desert of Utah, the ancient Lake Bonneville. That's the shoreline you can see on the mountain. This is old lake bed. I'm an old lake. There used to be, of course, the sea from the salmon used to go all the way up the Columbia River, clear enough, right over here to Duck Valley, Utah, not that long ago. 1.4 million returning salmon on the Columbia River in 2015. They go to sea for five years. Smoking gun of Fukushima. Still had, they're on the verge of extinction. You didn't think it would mutate to you? Coronavirus. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. 94, happy birthday, Tony Glenn. He turned 60. I turned 60. We got sick the same time. Nora, who made Silkwood, sick all of us at the same time. We talked to a person down at the cemetery today. We went out to visit my mom's grave, me and my grandson. How random. They were sitting at the grave, and it was a person who used to live in that little old house down there, family, and it was their daughter, granddaughter, who I didn't know. I says, she had five kids, 34. I says, she had a sarcoma. She had AML. 
I says, when? 2012. Died 2013. Vaccine, what's the odds? What's the odds? Well, pretty good. That's when this thing started to ravish through. It's very sad what's happening in our world. Everybody's all just caught up with their money and their wealth and, you know, chasing in their circle. You traded your health for some you didn't even meet well pseudo fact with sociology your theology it's the economy money 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 obey consume consumption junkie watch your obey consume die young of cancer I'm loving it pretty amazing to me out here this time I mean so we've got not one drop of water here all year in the here in Utah, the Great Basin. We've gotten a little bit. It's the driest April in history. It rained for like night. two hours. Yeah, all spring. I've never seen it so dry. Great Salt Lake was at normal level in 2012. I could prove that with my spiral jetty videos right here. The lightning went bad. It bite. Oh, it did? Did you know today's uh, the Golden Spike Day? That was our family, huh? First office was in ours, AB8, holding the camera. Hey, the first, the office was in their house right here. We're out here right near Promontory Point. So, I'm due to the second. No, this, look at it. It's at dusk. Not one mosquito, not one. We're talking next to the Great Salt Lake. No jackrabbits, gone. No muskrats, gone. Went for a walk today up on the marsh. We, uh, oh, the time ran out. Wait, no, 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 no. It was just the light. I mean, we've just crushed the ecology. It's an acute collapse. Last sign I'm going to see. It's all cliche now. California cliche, Monterey Bay a cliche. California theme park. Tourism economy. Turtle, salmon, dragonfly, starfish. Museum pieces. Stay in tuning. Oh, it's okay. We heard a couple frogs this morning. Listen to it at dusk night. We didn't hear the frogs right here. We heard three frogs today. today. Maybe if we get the consumption junkies off the beach with their friendship slaves, maybe we can get a turtles can come back. I don't know. How far to the point? Well, I think we passed it. It's too late, baby. It's too late. Sad. This generation don't care, but his will. At least, you know, we fight. So I fight me from the sea. Sometimes people use these uh, to make turtle, to make um, bowls. Bowls? Yeah. They use turtle. A lot of people kill t turtles, take their shells oh, off, and sell them for it's bowls. Like when I was a kid, everybody used to cut the abalone, make an ashtray out of it. Cut the what? The abalone, What's make the ashtrays. What's the abalone? They're big, like. The giant clams that grow up on the rocks. It used to be as tall as you. Yeah, I ate those ones. Yeah, and they make ashtrays out of it. Andy, never any supply, kind of like the carrier pigeons. Mm -hmm. Never Andy, there's so many of them. What are carrier <laughs> pigeons? They're extinct. They are? Yeah. There's no more? No, they extincted them. Wait, how long ago? They were shooting. They would shoot them for fun, for sport. How big were they? Carry, they're pigeons, but the best flyers in the world, so it was best sport to see how many you could shoot. Oh, there's so many, don't worry about it. <laughs> you, you environmentalists are trying to save them. <laughs> there's so many, <laughs> extinct. Salmon, I extinct. I bet you there's probably one. Oh, no, there's none. They thought one day a dinosaur. Like a coelacanth? Do you remember that bird that they thought was extinct? And they saw Ivory billed woodpecker? They saw it living on the coast of that shore on a different island that they just discovered. Mm, well, that's a rarity. We've extincted so many animals in the last. Post Fukushima, How you don't even know. Animals? Oh, thousands of species. Tell me. Billions, Tell me. billions of animals. <laughs> We've extincted so many species post Fukushima. Name one. The Upper California Purple Urchin. What's that? The purple urchins that grow up on the upper tide pools. Oh, those? Those are cool. So, do you see any mosquitoes tonight? Mm, yeah, I saw one. It was, one? It was flying past the camera. And we should see tens of thousands. Where's the blue herons? Do you see any of those? See any of the tundras? No. How about the 
And he'll come. Yeah, they're gone. Where's the dragonflies? What happened to the last sand hill queen? Yeah, remember we, we saw should, him every we night? We should get a big... We saw him every night at dusk. Uncle, Have you seen him? Two, we should get a big blue herring and a big sand hill queen. Plastic one? No, like a, one of like the glass bits. Grandma. Another hang on it. It's very sad. Stay in tune it. Baby.